Hey, let's talk for a couple minutes about the concept of glucose variability or glycemic variability. A big term, but glycemic simply means glucose. Variability means that there's changes going on. So you can have a fairly constant blood glucose level at 130 or 140, may not allow you to reach your, reach your weight loss goals or your metabolic health goals because that's too high, or you can have on a lower carb diet a blood glucose that's maybe in the 85 to 95 range and fairly constant. But if you're eating more sugars usually, you're gonna get significant blood glucose variability, which means those numbers are gonna go up and down as depicted in this first slide that I'm showing you. So with that variability, there's a lot going on. Insulin levels are spiking, cortisol levels are spiking, epinephrine, adrenaline is getting released. And of course, that variability can lead to mental fatigue, mental fogginess, physical fatigue, and it's not healthy long-term related to the metabolic health variables that you're trying to address. In this next slide, you can see there's less glycemic variability. And so those numbers are kept at a more constant level, and this causes less physiological stress. So of course, less mental fatigue, less physical fatigue. Those insulin levels are not varying as much. The cortisol is not varying as much. And so a more constant glucose level allows you to pursue your metabolic health goals. So when you think about the glucose in your system, don't only think about the absolute level or the average level over a period of time. Think about the variability as well. And what we try and do is get people on a diet with the appropriate low carb foods that will reduce that variability. And you know what? People not only address their metabolic health issues that way and lose weight, but they also feel better. They feel less stress, less mental fatigue, less mental fogginess, and physically they feel better as well.